What if I told you that I could show you how to make each of these DIYs for under $5 each? You'd probably think I'm crazy and you'd probably be right, but that's not the point. Assuming you have some basic crafting supplies on hand, you could make each of these DIYs for under $5 each. But let's stop talking about it and let's start being about it and let's get crafting. On this channel, I love to share easy DIYs and budget home decor. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is Our Gray House. Surprise, surprise, I'm making a book stack. <laughs> so I got this from the Dollar Tree, it's $1.25, and I'm painting the top portion, including the top, Christmas red. And I think it's Anita's craft paint. In the bottom section, I painted a really pretty green color that I cannot remember the name of it right now, but it's one of my favorite greens. And then I've painted the middle section with Rust-Oleum's Chalked Ultramet paint in the color lemon. It's one of my favorite paints, y'all. So I'm taking all the tape off and I made a decal using my Cricut. It's going to say Holly Jolly Christmas and I'm just applying it to the book stack. And I did the red and the green in, used, I used white vinyl for that and black vinyl for the white section so it would show up. And I'm making a finger bow. If you want a more extended slower tutorial just let me know and I can do that for you. Now, oh, I wanted to point out, these pine cones are from Hobby Lobby. They're $3.99. And here's a little tip for you. If you looked in the fall section, they had a, a similar size, maybe slightly larger one for $4.99, I think. And it was 40% off. Or maybe it was $3.99, 40% off. But in the Christmas section, it's 50% off. I mean, slightly, slightly smaller back. But I mean, come on, it's a deal. So always check the prices when you're at Hobby Lobby. All right, so I'm putting on some ribbon, just kind of putting it around one end. I'm adding some greenery that I did get from a Christmas pick and added that finger bowl. And this is all, this is how it turned out. Super cute. Now, the book stack itself, the crate was $1.25. The ribbon, the, the Christmas pick, it was part of a larger pick. So, I mean, even if you said I spent, you know, $3.25, $3.75 on the rest, still under five bucks y'all and easy to make. This video is part of the five under $5 DIY challenge. It's one of my favorite challenges to participate in each month because you really kind of have to think about what you're using and how you can make it inexpensively and on a budget. The hosts are Missy from Crafty Cove, Emily from Farm Charm Chic, and the guest host is Ellie from DIY from House to Home. And as you guys know, the links to their channels as well as the playlist is going to be in the description box below. I'd love it if you check it out and subscribe to the channels if you haven't already. Now back to the DIYs. DIY number two coming at you. So here's another Hobby Lobby tip. These wood slices are in the his and hers wedding section and they go on sale for like, I think 40% off. And if you look in the wood pile section where they also have wood slices, those things never go on sale. So the better deal is the his and her section when it's on sale. And that's where I got this wood slice from. It comes in a pack. So, I mean, gosh, even if you say it's a dollar for the wood slice, it's not a dollar for the wood slice. But even if you said it was a dollar, it's a dollar. And I'm painting the inside with um, some just black, black crap paint. <laughs> then I did a decal that says Merry and Bright. And I added that to it. I did drill a hole and I'm just adding some ribbon as a hanger at the top. Off camera, I made a another finger bow. And again, if you want a tutorial, just let me know. But I just kind of put it all together. I did add, I painted on with a paint pen, some holly on each side of the, of the words. And that's it. That's how it turned out. Super cute, super affordable. And guys, this was less than $5. There's no way it was even $5. So another affordable, fast, easy, and fun DIY. I was going to use this sign for something else. I decided to try to put some antique wax on it, but when I wiped it off, I mean, like it completely came off. So I flipped it over and I just was going to stain this side of the sign with Waverly Wax in the color antique. And I just do my little brushing it on. And then I take a scrap piece of cloth and I wipe it off. Now I had a little bit too much on it for this one, but you know, do, do what makes your heart happy. <laughs> I put a little bit too much on. So what? Um, I guess I'm going to show you the whole process of me putting it on. Now, once it was dry, I did notice there was some like spots, like where it was kind of splotchy and didn't, I don't know, like there was something wrong with the board, but you know what? It's okay. No, nobody's perfect and neither is this little sign. <laughs> so yeah, moving right along, I'm getting some help from Captain. I'm weeding out this little 
um, leopard print type style decal and I'm going to make I'm going to use it as a stencil and so I'm weeding out all the inner parts so that I can use it as a stencil and I'm using the one that has like the Christmas tree shape I just searched on the Cricut design space for it and yeah I, I pay for the paid version so it was free for me to use and I guess Captain has to help <laughs> so now I'm measuring out where I want to put all my words and things like that and I'm actually using a ruler <laughs> imagine that and then I just use some masking tape to kind of mark off where I'm going to paint. And I'm using We Really Chalk Paint in the color Crimson. It's a really pretty red. I do actually like it better than the Christmas red. If you wanted to know my opinion. So I'm painting on several coats to kind of make sure that it covers the Waverly Wax. I'm going to apply my decal and I'm just kind of covering so I don't overlap into the red paint. And I'm placing the decal down onto the bottom half of that, taking it off. And then I'm taking that green color and I'll, I'll try to find the green color because I still don't know what it is. And I'm dabbing it on. And I love the green color. I love it. Trust me. But when I take it off, are you going to see it now? I'm going to show it yet. I don't know. There we go. It's a little too dark. That bottom half's a little too dark. So I took a white paint pen and I'm just adding little dots. I mean, I guess you could call them snowflakes. I don't know. I was just adding white dots to kind of brighten up that lower half just a little bit. Then I'm going to apply, uh, apply, apply the decal. If you don't have a Cricut, don't worry. You can do this lots of different ways. But you could hand letter it. Use other stickers. Trace it on. You know, there's just lots of things you could do. So I'm applying the words Merry Christmas, and I'm putting the Christmas in the red part, and I'm putting the Merry. I like how they pop out against, oh, some people have trouble with the vinyl sticking to the stain stuff. I don't usually, but today I did. Anyway, so I have it on. There it is. $1.25 for the sign, and I guess I have the vinyl and I have the paint on hand, so it's really hard to say how much that actually cost me. And I made a little burlap simple bow with a little red plaid bow on top. And that's it. So, I mean, gosh, maybe two bucks, maybe three. I mean, I don't even think it's three dollars. Next DIY, I am only going to count the cost of one of these. <laughs> but, um, okay, so I had these candle holders and I took off the, the little stickers on the bottom because, you know, I don't like the stickers on my stuff. And I had these two little containers, glass containers from Dollar Tree. All this is from Dollar Tree. And so the candle holders were already black. Oh, I'm using rubbing alcohol to kind of take off that goo. I didn't have any goo be gone or I couldn't find mine anyway. So I'm just using rubbing alcohol to take off the little gummy residue left from the stickers. Because that's just silly. And I was going to, I ended up actually putting something over it. So I didn't really have to do this part. But, you know, I don't like the stickers. Anyways, the lids to those containers, I did spray paint black. Then I'm going to use some E6000. And I think I've told y'all this before, but my E6000, this particular one is black. I didn't know it came in different colors, but it does. And so I have the, one of those little turn keys to kind of, you know, push the, the glue out. But you have to be careful because it'll start oozing out, even like when you're like stopped doing it. So you have to kind of like un, undo the key thing so that it doesn't just keep oozing. Anyway, I glued that little top to the candle holder and now I had tried to hot glue this ribbon on and it literally just pulled right off so that didn't work so I'm going to put E6000 to adhere it to the little lid there and then I had these lids from another project from another container that I had and I thought those would look super cute on the top it would make it look more like a Christmas lantern so then I thought well gosh now I'm going to have to like spray paint the top because I just think, I just thought the top needed to be spray painted. So <laughs> I took some masking tape and this was a weird masking tape. It really wasn't that sticky. Like it just came off so super easy, but I just pressed it down, pressed it down and I taped off that top little area. Then I took some newspaper and I covered up the rest of it because I didn't want any of it to get spray painted black except for the very, very top, which is what I got right there. Oh, I'm going to show you both. Okay, so well, this side did both. <laughs> and then I spray painted it and see how it turned out? The the whole top, I used E6000 to attach that little top part to the glass part, and it worked out really perfectly. 
Then I did a simple bow. I was trying to do like one of those Uranus ribbons and kind of pinch it in the middle. And then I used some jute twine to keep it together. And then I used another little strip of ribbon to go around the middle so you wouldn't really see the jute twine. Although I guess it didn't really matter if you see the jute twine, but I just did that. Then you just screw the container on because it's upside down, essentially. You just screw it on. It looks like a little lantern. It turns out really, really super cute. And one thing you can do is put lights in it. I only had the icicle lights. I could not find my little fairy lights, which would have looked way cuter. So icicle lights it is, but I could just see this like on a porch or like, you know, just on your mantle with all the lights out and just have those little lights there. I think it would look really pretty. Okay. Oh, the cost. So the glass container was $1.25. The base candle holder thing was $1.25. And that little lid at the top, that was $1.25 because it came from another thing. So you're looking at $3.75 plus the extras, let's call it five bucks. I found this witch's hat in the Halloween area of Dollar Tree and it was $1.25. And I had seen somebody else do this, so I thought I'd try my hand at it. I am trying to use snippers, which did not work. I tried to use snippers to kind of take off the bottom, this little loopy portion, you know. When I did that, I broke it off. I was not trying to break it all off, but that's okay. I mean, you know, it is what it is. So then I trying to yank this other side off to trying to break it. I finally get it off, but my snippers would not cut through this. And I just don't know if I had the wrong snippers or what, but went to my garage and I used a little saw. don't know what kind of saw it was, but I used that and cut off the bottom. Then I took this mop head from the Dollar Tree and I was taking off each strand and then just tying it on, as you can see me doing here. It did take a little bit of time for me to tie it on, to be honest, but you know, it is what it is. And I used almost the entire pack. I think I only had like maybe eight or so strands left. I probably could have put those on too, but I didn't. And then I have some material that was left over from another project. So this is going to be kind of hard to price out, <laughs> but I was cutting just a square to use for the top portion of this thing that I'm making. Can you guess what I'm making? I don't know. I think it's kind of obvious, right? <laughs> so I'm kind of figuring out how I'm going to place everything. I'm trying to wrap it up and not be too bulky because I should have cut out the material kind of in a triangle shape to fit around the wreath form better, but I didn't. It is what it is, you know, you do you, I did me, and this just how it's turning out. So I had a little bit of a tail kind of floppy end at the top, but it's okay because it's gonna work out in the end. Gave a little trim to that beard there because I'm making a gnome. And I had these wood round I think they're like doll heads or something. Anyway, I thought they were much, much smaller when I got them. They're huge. So I just kept them in case I could use them for something else. Oh, I'm making a pom-pom. And I have a tutorial on how to do that. Super easy, super fast, super fun. And now I'm just like tying it all off. And then I'm going to trim it. And let's see, I'm attaching it to the top to kind of cover up where, you know, we had the extra floppy part. <laughs> so this is how it turned out. I think it turned out super cute. Now the wreath form cost me a dollar 25 the mop head cost me a dollar 25 that christmas pick that i embellished it with that was only a dollar and the nose i mean i don't know how much you want to say that was like maybe a quarter i don't know so we're looking at like four dollars right now and the fabric was not not even a dollar and the yarn i mean it's just a little bit of yarn so i'm saying five bucks for this one as well see all under five dollars thank y'all so so much for watching my video today i really do appreciate the company while i craft and create and i hope you enjoyed the projects today let me know which one was your favorite let me know if you try any tag me in it if you do it on instagram or facebook or here on youtube let me know i want to see what you guys are doing too and if you want to share your projects on facebook I do have a crafting group on Facebook called Crafty DIYs on a Budget. I'll have a link to that in the description box below as well. So join us, share what you're working on. It'll be awesome. And if you want to follow me on social media, like here on YouTube or over on TikTok or Instagram or Facebook or whatever, my handle is Our Grey House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye.